Mark, something exciting here at Southern Manufacturing on the Matsura stand. Uh, we're in front of the MX850, a popular machine within your range. Yep. What's, what are you actually showing? What are people getting excited about as they come around the machine? Well, it's a bit of a new concept um, that we feel for the UK market. And what we're actually doing is we're tying together the HP 3D printing machines with the, the five axis capabilities of the machine tool. And the demo that we have on the part of the machine today is actually printed um, overnight on our 3D printer. It's on the machine and we're now doing our five axis demonstration off that fixture. So when you're talking to your customers um, that have already got Matsura machines or, or maybe that haven't, yep. are they interested in, in being able to make their fixtures uh, in, a, in a far more efficient way? Oh, very much so, yes. I mean, you know, there's still a still a bit of um, hesitation about whether um, it can hold the sort of tolerances that you'd expect from you know, a general machining application or fixtures that are manufactured on machine tools. Um, but the results that we've seen from this is that if you design the fixture in an effective manner, um, you do the, 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 the finite element analysis on the component uh, or the fixture you're using, uh, it, will, it will outperform that of a standard metal cut fixture. Yeah, because you, your options are infinite, aren't they, when you're designing something from scratch? You can do it in whichever way is, is stronger. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you imagine you're trying to hold a, a casting, and generally you have to balance a casting within a fixture, with this, obviously, you can design your fixture around the casting uh, for the most optimum way of holding it, um, and then that takes care of a lot of the balance that you might get through you know, a conventional type fixture. And it's not only that, of course, it's the time it would take to make a fixture. I mean, you know, yeah, tool, yeah. tool makers may quote you a six, seven week lead time for a fixture yeah. for a part, and that's no good, is it? No, that's right. I mean, we've had um, recent applications in the UK where a customer's got uh, this particular machine, the MX850, and they've added to it a HP 3D printer to do exactly as you say, just to get that lead time for manufacture build down to a manageable level. And in this case, it's overnight rather than, as you say, six weeks. Uh, tell us about this 850, Mark. We, we, I've looked at the 520 loads of times. In fact, I've seen the 850 before, but it's just a bigger version, isn't it? It is, yeah, but it's, a, it's, it's bigger in all, in all aspects. The, the, the 520, which we've shown at Southern Manufacturing, has been our fastest growing five axis machine that we've, we've had in the UK market. The 850, uh, which has been around probably for about five years now, added to the success of the 520. But with this machine, you get 900 mil of X axis stroke. You can swing 900 mil by 385 tools through the trunnion. Um, but you've now got a 15,000 RPM spindle with 350 newton meters of torque spindle, um, up to 90 tools. We now do it with four pallets, so it follows the, you know, the, the the standard Matsura tradition of lights out manufacturing. You've got this now as well, then, with the the capability of having a pallet changer. Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah. So you know, as I said, you know, carry on the success, success of the MX520 and MX330. MX330 was the first MX with 10 pallet changer. We added to the MX520 with four pallets. We now have just done exactly the same with the 850, um, but still allowing you to pallet change the full diameter of swing of the table with the full table weight as well. So when you have a pallet changer on this machine, you can swing 850 by 385 tall and 400 kilos. Is it fair to say, when you look at the crowds that we've seen here today on your stand, that Matsura, as a manufacturer, a Japanese manufacturer, are making your life easy? I wouldn't say easy, but <laughs> uh, you know it's a privilege to be able to sell such a product as, as Matsura in the UK for sure. Um, and yeah, if you go on our success of last year, um, I know it was an exceptional year, but 90% of what we sold was multi-pallet and 80% of that was, was five-axis technology.